So, our next day is going to be Cinnamon Bear. So let's have a look at Cinnamon Bear. Ooh. So Cinnamon Bear is Manx Lockton, 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 however you say it. Merino, UK alpaca, and mulberry silk. And it says, now we're not sure if anyone will actually remember the first airing of Cinnamon, Cinnamon Bear as it was a radio show which was broadcast from the 26th of November, my birthday, and 25th December in 1937. The radio show ran over 26 episodes and features twins Judy and Jimmy who went on an adventure with the Cinnamon Bear to find the silver star that was missing from the top of their Christmas tree. It's a wholesome musical series which has been aired regularly since its first relief. Relief? Release. There was even an audiobook made in 2021. When creating this blend, we started with the basics. We knew Cinnamon Bear was brown, so we blended Manx Lockton with Alpaca to give us a solid base. We also added some Merino Cinnamon to lift the shade and because you can't have Cinnamon Bear without it. The green ribbon around the bear's neck is rec represented by a streak of Merino Emerald. And finally, we gave a nod to the missing silver star by adding silver gray Edinburgh Mulberry Silk. This blend isn't super soft, as bears don't tend to be, but it balances natural and dyed tones well. Manx Lochnan is often overlooked when it comes to blends, but we love the color and texture it brings every time we use it. So, we have a multicolored top here. So, when I looked at day five, I think that green is going to blend really well with that green. So I think we're going to do a singles with this and a singles with this and then ply them together. So let's have a look at day five. So day five is called Loathe Entirely. So this is Merino, Tessa Silk and Alpaca. It wouldn't be Christmas without someone trying to sabotage it. We're back visiting the Grinch and his unmistakable dislike for all of Whoville and the festive period. We clearly had to make a green blend to match this character's iconic color, but during our research, we discovered that the Grinch wasn't always green. What? In fact, in the books, he was black and white with a hint of pink, and he only became green when a cartoon was made in 1966. We contemplated making a Grinchy humbug, but decided we'd much rather make something unapologetically green and a bit more vibrant. It is that. The base of this blend is Dolmite's Green from our Alpine range, which itself is a blend of Merino and Alpaca and sumptuously soft. We brighten this shade by adding Merino Chartreuse for a hard-hitting, nearly fluorescent pop of green. Definitely. Which is reminiscent of the original cartoon colors. Finally, it was time to add something more tactile, and for this we added two shades of green Tessa Silk, Avocado and edamame to give a subtle sheen and yet more softness. This nearly solid shade is soft, squishy, and certainly doesn't live up to its name. So we're going to make a single with this, and we're going to make a single with this, and then we're going to ply them together. So I'm going to try again spinning from the fold, but I think that these, these runs of color might be too thin, but I'm going to try my best to spin this from the fold to try to preserve some of those color streaks. This one will just be a nice straight spin. So that will be day four and five. Well, let's get to it.
and here we go fresh off our nitty naughty as you can see I over twisted a little bit but that's okay I wanted to have very very high definition in the ply so you can see I had some green left over so I just chain plied it and you can see how blending it with the brownie one kind of mutes it down and makes it much prettier I think not that I don't like bright green just I wanted something not bright green so just a simple two ply and we're letting the colors shine so that was day four and five six we used with the day two so that just leaves us day seven